where we've come we caught a transfer to the Los Humilas reservation um, about a half an hour away from El Chalton and we're doing the Laguna del Diablo hike so I think total it's about 14 k's um, yeah maybe seven or eight there and then the way back and yeah it's a um, I think it's like a privately run reservation so like a conservation area and this is where that the famous um, like four I think it's four day Humula's circuit hike is but yeah we're just here for a day hike so yeah we've got a transfer here and you, you had to make a reservation booking to be able to hike here for the day um, but yeah so it's doing this hike and it takes us to a um, a lake called uh, Diablo Lake and um, yeah we get a view of the Humula's glacier um, yeah should be a good day it's a little less touristy than the main hikes out of El Chalton which is why I chose it so yeah should be good of our hike so we got the start of it where we are here trailhead or the del centro go up the rio del diablo and then we're gonna go to the laguna diablo uh, which is a 4.8 kilometer hike at the moment we're gonna this we're going to this viewpoint here laguna diablo and there is a refugio as well 5.5 kilometers it's open in the summer times and um, you can go there and they make crepes you can get some food there um, but this time of year because it's we're not in the busy season uh, it's not open but we can still go there and get the view because it is a nice view of the refugio with the lake um, I'll show you the viewpoint here so far what we see this mountain and there's a river guessing by the color of it that's the glacier that water is from the glacier coming down looks like the same color as glacier water and so that's where we're gonna go see which is at the end of the hike the Laguna Diablo which has a glacier as well but it's just beautiful there's just views everywhere we go like even Shelby still in there that backdrop it's just gorgeous and you got over there as well so yeah we're pretty excited for these hikes and these views Shelby's uh, worked hard planning this trip she's definitely put a lot of work in and a lot of research so I'm very thankful for her so all these videos these sites we see it's all because of Shelby's amazing research she's found all these beautiful sites and places so very thankful to you Shelby <laughs> just thought I put it out there in the video <laughs> so so yeah, all these amazing sites we see it's all because of Shelby for her reason so <laughs> all right let's trek on for a water break and they've made this uh, makeshift table out of the timber uh, the wood they've used around here a lot of dead trees around here 
um, but what a view to have lunch at, lunch at. Uh, this isn't a viewpoint but this is just one of the stops you can go river glacier river that runs through all the way uh, it's quite beautiful just that view alone sitting at the table man so many awesome sights we've seen so far <laughs> And it's only the start of our holiday. Yeah, look at that. View of the mountain. And over there as well. And is that, you're saying that's Mount Fitzroy? You think? Yeah, I think it might be. On the other side of this green yeah, mountain here is the bushy be. one. Cool. At the back of that mountain, I think, is Mount Fitzroy. Um, but, take all of this river, like, the colour of it is just so what colour would you call that? Light green? It's like a vibrant so nice. Vibrant green. Yeah. We seem to be the only one on this hike. So it's a very peaceful hike we're on. It's it's nice. Taking our time walking, taking in the views. We stopped all the time just Looking at these views, it's just beautiful. So amazing. The guide told us yesterday about these trees. I can't remember the name of it. Might have to go back to the video and check it out, but see how green these are so green and the trees are so grey. And it really just paints a picture of where we are. Like it's just I don't know if the video can pick it up properly, but the colours is just it's such a vibrant green and the color tone at the bottom half is all gray and it's just hiking through it is it's just it's a weird illusion i don't know like where's you walking forward it's you can't really tell on the gopro probably not but it's it's different but it's such it's just nice and just appreciating like this plant this tree the shrubs i just said three different things <laughs> The shrubs well i guess it is turns into a tree um just how the color of it it's just just really sets the scene where we are it's even up there like how it's just red with the white and then it goes green all the all the trees seen up on those mountains are these ones um but the terrain we're on here it's more rocky bouldery but it's got a lot of these on the trees. over halfway to the glacier and um, man I am so tempted to swim in this that like, it's it just just chill in that corner right there just want to sit up against the stream it's um I, I didn't oh, what's my watch say ah oh, I don't have it on I don't know what the temperature is at the moment in the sun it's warm but there is a really cold breeze obviously because we're in the valley we're getting the winds coming off the, the mountain there, so you get that brisk kind of um, wind. But man, we're just stopping for a snack. But you can see the glacier just up there. That's where we're going to. Well, we're not going on there. We're going to the viewpoint down the bottom to view it. And um, yeah, I, I'm very tempted even just to stick our foot in there after a hike. Especially just dunking your feet in some cold water would be awesome. So yeah, I'm just gonna have some snack. Sam's pantry.
check this out. The watercolour in the river. All coming down from the from the glacier. It's uh, pretty sturdy but you gotta watch your footing on it but it's a cool it's a cool bridge. <laughs> Walk on by that. We're nearly there to the refugio and the sun is beaming which is awesome so we are both happy about not too windy no it's not too windy um but it, you do feel the wind coming down from the mountain when it does come through yeah so what we're about just under probably 600 meters away maybe and then we'll be there uh, we're not far now the refugio is just down there you can see the top of the hut and the glacier as you can see is just over there and this valley is just beautiful to hike through as now it's just as it's opened up into the valley we're in we've got the view of the, this mountain here and we've got the mountains on this side but yeah that's the viewpoint we're going to uh, it's just it's really cool just to walk hike through here you just try not to stop too much to look at the views that's the hardest part because <laughs> you want to just get to the actual viewpoint but it's just so nice uh, there it is the refugio how epic does that look what a cool looking refugio So, Shelby said that she believed it was only built a year ago, but it's still fairly new. But yeah, this is where they make crepes, so you can hike up here, they got crepes and, and um, some beverages. It opens in November, so it's not open here, but it's cool to see. Surrounded by the mountains. That's the name of it there. And then there is the, the lagoon and the glacier. That's so cool. So I'm just gonna put the camera down, have some lunch, and then we're gonna yeah, have some lunch and enjoy the view. stole a dream images of magazines take your chance while you're still young glory flickers like a candle in the desert sun Wasted time on an overpass Watching how nothing lasts The streets are filled with a hollow glow The bellies ache A shallow hunger lunch probably one of the the best lunches we've had so far with you I mean having lunch at Mount Putre was awesome but I think being quiet and right next to the glacier and also it's not as cold just to sit here and just take in the views and which is what we're doing next to the refugio and you just 
you hear the wind come before it hits you coming down the valley the mountain um, it's just amazing and clouds rolling in and out and that glacier is just I don't know big amazing no words? there's no words it's it's hard to put into words when you when you see it in person it's just it's so so grand it's just yeah big and then amazing and you see the colors bounce off it so you see the blue tinge the reflection bounce off from the the sunlight although you know what would be interesting to look up is um i wonder how much it's receded over the years like That's i true. wonder if it came right into the lake like at one point i'm sure it would have yeah because yeah yeah so you can see what shelby's saying is, is receding back from the lake uh because some glaciers that we've seen have had that because of uh, global warming so the glaciers recede back because glaciers are forever moving because of the because of the climate change I think, and the heat yeah i think um, pretty much all glaciers these days when you see them they're like receded back a lot yeah it's true and then it's covered by the cloud i just noticed it but there's even a bigger glacier behind there i think that it, extends up to the top doesn't it yeah well just behind this mountain there's like another there's like i see a chunk of glacier on that mountain there behind it i didn't notice it that much because the clouds were covering it but yeah it's just a really cool spot to sit take it in so only uh 100 people are allowed on this trail i think in the it, reserve every day in, in the reserve oh in the reserve it's 100 people only so you got to make sure to to book ahead and and also if you want to stay in the refugio when it's open also book in advance as well because i'm yeah, cause I think, I think i'm not sure it can't fit 100 like 10, people no, yeah people. yeah so you can stay here as well but That's obviously it, it doesn't have 100 can't fit 100 people now <laughs> so, yeah so you, you gotta make sure you book well in advance if you are gonna plan to come here um, and stay the night here. I mean, what is? Oh yeah, we do want to come back here and stay the night here when it yeah one day. Cause just imagine just seeing the sunrise and sunset. Oh, amazing! And seeing the stars as well like, over the mountains. Be so cool. So definitely a spot to check out. That's Laguna Diablo. Yeah, Laguna yes. del Diablo. Del Diablo. Yeah, close. Like Diablo, like. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we're just going to pack it up soon because we've got to head back to the trailhead so we can catch the shuttle back so we make sure we get there in enough yeah. time. There is different shuttle services that can take you out here, but so the one we got in the time zone, the time slot we got is 4.40 to get back at. So, so we don't want to rush back so you want to take your time walking back, you know? Yeah. So to say, so, because, you know, it's nice to just take your time hiking back. You never want to rush on a hike. It is an easy hike day too, after yesterday. That's true. After that mammoth incline. Nice, just take it easy. Yeah. So, yeah, we're just going to chill for a bit and then we'll make our way back. I just want a little more time Everyone grows colder We all just want to start So we're just hiking back and before we head back I'm going to get us some um, glacier water. All the water here is drinkable. So put these down just before I go ahead on the Google Pixel. There's not a product placement by the way, <laughs> it's just a cool feature. On the Google Pixel, there is a thermometer. So, you gotta put it like, so that silver thing here is the what reads the temperature. But I don't know how accurate it is, but let's just see how cold this water is. So if I put it down there. Uh, 
all right. Ugh. Just trying to balance myself. 6.5 degrees. That's how cold the water is. I'm not sure if the camera can pick it up, but there is a woodpecker in that branch there. Red head. Red head, black body. I'm trying to be. Oh, we've reached the trailhead. Good job, Shobs. What a hike. These mountains and valleys have been amazing. So I'm going to put the camera down. We're going to take the shuttle back into town. Have a stop and grab something to eat. Get ready for tomorrow.